Hi my sins! In this video I'm going to show you guys how I got 3600 plus points with Einik Boss um, on the hard difficulty level. And last week, uh, if you saw my other video, I got 2.8k, but I continue to work on my HP rolls and my cosmetic upgrades to achieve this crit. Also on a side note, just to update you guys, I feel like I made it y'all. I got invited to Discord joining the top dogs, Kana, Ryu, Seton, and Chikuza. So can you believe that? Measly old me gets to swim with the big sharks. <laughs> so thank you for supporting me by pressing the like button below or subscribe if this video does help you improve your guild boss scores, okay? First we'll talk about uh, equipment just really fast. If you want a more detailed look at equipment, check out my video at the end for the uh, Slater on Extreme. I really go into detail uh, with equipment on there. But quick overview is that Dureri is on attack crit. Make sure to max out her weapons cosmetics since she is our damage dealer. And of course Slater, um, his whole gear build again is based off of crit chance due to his passive. Um, so the four crit chance gear to activate the bonus of crit chance by 30%. Um, you can do this by getting the common bracelet, common ring to allow maximizing the crit chance rolls to 45%. As you can see, I maxed out his crit chance at 130%. Make sure to also equip all of his equipment that has the crit chance percentage on. Um, and those can be found again at the pop-up shop, the fight festival shop, and the sacred treasure shop. Okay, and on top of that, we're going to be eating crit chance food. Okay, and for Helbrum and Galther, you want to put them on HP defense sets. Um, maximizing their HP is critical um, for your point gain. And then you Ring the belt in the room is recommended for all three of these units um, for that extra HR boost. HR? HP. <laughs> I'm getting work confused now, guys. <laughs> okay, um, and then also work on upgrading all of their uh, HP cosmetics in the closet. So now we'll get started. It's going to be a quick six turn um, run um, and you want to kill him on the six turn. All right. Okay, so we're eating crit chance food. Okay, and on this, um, for the hard strategy, you don't want the boss to ult you. So try to use Gouther's pumpkin bombs to stall that and also to get his ult um, because we don't want him to do any damage to us. Um, so then that way we can just end with the most HP as possible. So on turn one, guys, what you're going to want to do is you always move a Gouther card first. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and use that Gouther card. Get rid of your Slater card and a Helbrum Poison. So move the Gouther card, use it, get rid of your Slater card, and go ahead and get rid of your Helbrum Poison. There we go. And we got a combine. So it's looking good. We're setting up now. Turn two, you're going to move Gouther. Um, then you're going to Durari Strike him and Slater debuff. We moved Gouther because we want to be able to get his ult on the next turn since Einik is going to get his ult and we don't want him to strip um, any of our orbs. And we got to combine. Oh my gosh. So play this very carefully. Um, you want to make sure that we're going to kill on turn 6. So we set up for our Gouther ult. This is turn 3. You see that Einik has his ult. And we're going to be petty as always, so we're going to Gouther ult him, take away his ult so that he doesn't do that area damage on us. We're going to keep as much of our HP as possible. Um, then we're going to Invasion for the gold debuff from Slater to seal him for three turns. Um, then we're also going to go ahead and Durari buff. Okay. And if you pay attention to his next cards, we're saving our Durari buffs because, again, he's going to go into his Metal Dissolve mode. Um, so you really, really have to remember not to uh, attack him during this turn with Helbrum or Durari um, to avoid losing five orbs within the next two turns. Um, and because this is now turn four, um, we, we want to kill him by turn six, so we, we can't. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and move Helbram two times to build his alt. Um, we're going to go ahead and just Derary buff since we got that rank one. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and Galther dissolve because, again, you want to stall that alt of his. Um, we want to take the least damage as, pos as possible. Can't speak today. <laughs> right? It's going to be a super quick. So always on turn six, same thing as the normal. Always finish him on turn six. So he's going to attack Durari. We're now on turn five. Um, and then to maximize our Durari buffs um, to kill on the sixth turn, because we got lucky with the card draw, we're just going to go ahead and Durari buff. And then we're going to go ahead and pimp slap that shield out of the way and buff up again since we have that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and Helbrum gold buff because um, we're, we're just going to go for max buffs right now. All right. If I can just, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to help him buff. And we should be okay. Perfect. Buff. And this is kill turn, guys. Okay. Gold Durari buff. Helbrum ult to take away his defense um, buff right there, which has the related stats of crit resistance. So we're going to take that away. And then we're going to go ahead and just wombo combo him into oblivion. Okay. And, you know, with this, I could have done it differently and beat him down with Slater. But that's a big risk because what if Helbrum were to crit? then it would have been a waste of my run. Um, the ideal also would have been to get another Durari buff for that extra stack. But we finished on turn six with 12 buffs on Durari, 7.1 crit, um, and we got 3,633 points. And as you can see, the main uh, points there that we got is from the great damage dealt against the enemy. So that's it. Six turns really quick. Um, if you do have... If you do have Slater all uh, maxed out on his crit chance, I have found that you'll crit about once in every 10 runs. Um, so make sure that you have a lot of the crit chance food and keep going at it. Don't lose hope. It is possible to crit. Um, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to please like and subscribe to my page if you want me to continue to make these videos. All right, guys, I'll see you later, my sins. Bye.